All right, I'm getting ready to do these brakes. Uh, I've already disconnected the uh, negative cable on the battery, and uh, now I'm going to loosen the lugs before I get it up off the ground. And then uh, after I get it off the ground, I'm going to remove those wheels. See you in a few. With that out of the way, we can start on the real task at hand. Get these calipers off and, uh, and start changing stuff. Okay, so there's a number of ways to go about this depending on what your objective is. If you're only doing pads, then the only thing that you'll need to do is this T55 Torx bolt right there. Just undo him. You can flop out that uh, caliper like a clamshell and put the pads in there. If you're doing rotors, you'll need to get the caliper completely off. So you can get the caliper completely off by going Torx number one and then his buddy on the bottom. And then the caliper will be able to be able to pull it off and don't forget that it's connected to this line here so you'll probably want to plop it up there and then the caliper has got these two big I think they're 18 millimeter uh, bracket bolts which will get the rest this bracket here off of the caliper uh, once the caliper is completely removed you can get your rotor off and you can change your rotor having said all of that I'm doing everything I'm actually replacing the caliper, I'm replacing the pads, I'm replacing the rotor, and I'm replacing the lines. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to be doing is, is uh, uh, evacuating all the bad brake fluid out of the system and um, replenishing it with fresh brake fluid. So my approach might be a little bit different because what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack open that line and let it bleed out. I don't even care about the T55 Torx bolts because I'm going to take the whole damn caliper off. That'll give me access to my rotor. And then I'm going to go to work on this line here, which uh, is a whole nother story. We'll get to that when we get to that. So that's the method to my madness. So keep in mind, this is just the way I'm doing it. I'm not trying to make a how-to video here. <laughs> Sounds like I'm in Baghdad. I am not in Baghdad. It just happens to be New Year's Eve. All right, so anyhow, uh, uh, as I was saying, uh, I'm not really intending this to be a step-by-step -step, uh, how-to. This is just my channel where I'm sharing various different mods that I've done in my vehicle. All right, 11. Banjo bolt is an 11. And she's leaking. Compress her a little bit and she'll leak some more. All right, now I'm going to crack this 18 loose. Mm -hmm. All right, so at this point, I've uh, loosened the top 18 millimeter bolt, and I've got uh, the bottom 18 millimeter bolt holding the, uh, holding the caliper pretty loose. As a matter of fact, I could probably drop this like this so I get easier access to action, actually get easier access to it if I turn the wheel. Now I got easier access to it. Come on in and, and show this bolt right here. All right. Can you see it? Mm -mm. Is the light on on that thing? Okay. So out comes the 18 millimeter bolt and off comes that all right so now we're back to how's the light I'm in the light I'm in right in the way of the light aren't I yeah. all right how's that all right so we're down to the rotor he just slides right on off and that's that now you're not supposed to breathe the brake dust so hit it with a little brake clean so that we're not breathing brake dust okay now calipers off rotors off we're going to turn our attention to this uh this guy right here and uh i think we're going to need another light yep all right so i need to get this abs line out of here i'm just going to use this little screwdriver here and Pop him out. All 
Easier said than done. Like so, he's now released. Now I need a 10 millimeter. Yeah. Good? Mm -hmm. All right, now with this line separated, I'm gonna go after our main brake line. So I got a flare wrench, it's a 10 millimeter. Get him started. So there he is. And he's loose, like so. Now he's got a buddy up here on the uh, control arm, upper control arm. What is that? Wind? Probably. All right, so he comes off here, like so. Save the hardware. So that is how So that's that, and as you can see, the factory did not a lot for the reuse. The fact, can you zoom? Can you come in, son? Mm, it's zoomed in. This is permanently part of this hose, so the factory did not a lot for uh, the reuse of these, which is a real shame because the stuff that comes with the Russell kit is kind of cheesy. All right, so now I'm looking for my nine sixteenths. Yep. All right, so get this retainer clip off. Like that. PB. Nine oh, six. You couldn't see it. It was too blurry. Little. Uh, can you see it now? Yep. We're gonna hit it with uh, some of this, and uh, let it soak for a couple minutes. So go ahead and kill it. So it's being a little difficult. So I just used a. Uh, uh, I think it's a 15 millimeter on the bottom. I'm gonna try to get this cleaned up. This guy cleaned up as much as possible. He had a bunch of grit and grime in him. And uh, I wanna clean out the threads. All right, so basically all I was doing was I was just using a wire brush, trying to clean out these threads. All right, much better than it was. Just a note to Russell. Um, I don't know whether I can speak for anybody else, but I would not have minded spending a few extra dollars on the kit to have had some new banjo bolts. There are no banjo bolts in the Russell kit, so you got you to gotta save your old ones. All right, so get this banjo bolt off of the old one, and there's the, uh, the old copper thing. You don't want to reuse that. Also... Um, I think they're called crush washers. Uh, Russell includes crush washers, but they're not copper. They're, I don't know, they're silver, so I don't know if that means they're stainless or what, but I've seen a couple other videos on YouTube where the guys, if they install it with the crush washers from, uh, from Russell, their brakes start leaking within six months. So uh, don't use those that are with the Russell kit. Make sure you get some copper copper ones and of course here's the banjo bolt uh, of course oil comes in the hole here and then passes through that uh, hole there and that's what makes it different from uh, other bolts mm. so save the banjo bolt get rid of the uh, the old copper stuff make sure you get some copper washers uh, all the way around right now is not a bad time to just try to clean stuff up a little bit I'm gonna try to reuse that uh, original bracket so clean the surface here and uh, these are the, where the calipers will be coming on. Clean there. I just like cleaning stuff. So the Russell uh, stainless steel brake lines come with these cheap little holder things that are, in my opinion, barely functional. And they also want you to reroute the stainless steel line underneath uh, the steering knuckle. So, not in its original place here, but under here. And with all this stuff spinning at super high speeds, I just don't feel right doing that. 
So, ready? Yep. Right, I'm gonna try to reuse these guys, see if I can't make this happen. So I'm gonna cut, but I'm gonna leave a little bit. I'm gonna leave a little bit on one side. So I have uh, real estate with which to pull it through. You'll see what I mean in a second. And this one I'm just gonna get real close. So I'm left with this. Once again, lease some room on one side. Get her close on the other side. Well, as close as possible, I guess. All right. Off to the bench and see if we can make this work. Let's see if I can't get this out. <clears throat> Look at that. That was actually easier than I. Ooh, don't breathe in the dust. That was actually easier than I thought it would be. Oof, look how close that is. Mm, yeah. So we're gonna have to work with that guy. And let's see about this guy here. Fire, heavy gloves. Okay. Try to get the metal hot so that the metal expands and then maybe I can pull this thing out. How are we doing on batteries? Uh, I don't know. Oh, look at this. Oh, turn it back on. Is it on? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yep. There it is. This right here is not enough space for the stainless steel. Um, so I need a little bit more space here. So I'm going to hit the metal with some heat and bend the metal. So the first piece is done, now we're working on the second piece. We've got to open up that gap just enough to, uh, it's time to bend. Oh yeah, nice, look how easy that is. Okay. This is a lot easier. All right, now we go to the other side, but go ahead and kill that. All right, so. We can now use our original clampity clamps. There's one. There's the other one. All right, so you can see this is on very loose, and this guy's on very loose. We've got to, we've got to make this connection first. 11 sixteenths on the bottom, 15 sixteenths on top. Don't go too tight, but make it tight. And there's that. And still make sure that you can angle your banjo bolt the way you want to angle your banjo bolt to get on your brake caliper. All right, you see uh, there's a new brake rotor and you see how nice and pretty it is. And the reason why it's so pretty is because they ship it, they put some sort of oil or something on there to, uh, it's an anti-rust thing, um, but you don't want that on your brake surface. So before we put these rotors on, you're always gonna wanna clean the rotor. with a generous amount of brake clean. To get all that shipping oil stuff off of the surfaces. Oops. All right kind of see some of that stuff that's rotor on you know what we need all right so I put a couple lugs on here to get this guy on nice and flush just posing too you don't have to use all of them get them on here straight because next comes mr. caliper all right so we got our 18 millimeter caliper bolt from the uh, original here and uh, call me obsessive compulsive but I want to get all this grit and grime and crap out of there. So I'm gonna hit it with some cleaning juice and some scrubby scrubs and get her nice and clean. So here's the difference. Cleaned, not cleaned. 
So I'm just going to continue to get all that uh, gunk out of the threads uh, so that it'll re-thread nicely. All right, so right here we got a bolt to place for Mr. Calper, and then uh, right down here we got a bolt place for Mr. Calper, and uh, we got Mr. Calper. Now, be very, very careful because Mr. Caliper has got right here our ever important copper do jigs for the banjo bolts. Can you get that? Mm. See that? All right, so we're going to put those over in a super de duper safe place. So, Caliper, there she is. She there she blows. Now, this Caliper's all, I love the fact that. Uh, they replaced those stupid T55 Torx with a real, I think that's an 18 millimeter um, nut, which is just a lifesaver because those T55s are a complete nightmare. But having said that, I reckon it's time to, uh, I'm, just, I'm checking clearances here for a second. Yeah, that's gonna be good. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this here uh, thread locker. Mm. Say thread locker. Mm, yep. Pour a little bit of thread locker on there, Bubba. Is blue the permanent one? No, blue is non-permanent. Uh, yellow. Yeah. Is no, red is permanent. Oh, red. Yellow. Red says, "I ain't ever coming off, man. I ain't ever, ever coming off." What's yellow? I don't never heard of yellow. Well, I mean, yellow was on. You can't see a thing around me, can you? Nope. That's all right. I can't see a thing myself. Wow. This is the lower. Where's that 18? All right. So there's the lower caliper. Yay. Like that. And that should help us get our upper caliper. Did it with a little bit of Loctite. See better now? There we go. Once that lower one's in, upper one's easy as pie. So, all right, so what we got here, we got brake caliper, front 1500 miles, 99 to 2004, 129. Is that right? Caliper mounting bracket bolts, that's us. Uh, 129. All right, remember that number. Okay, this is not gonna be easy. 129 foot-pounds is a lot of foot-pounds. Hey, look at that, there it is. All right, double check it. There's 129 foot-pounds. And zip or M. I can't find it, sir. I can't find it at all. All right, we've got to. We get straighten her out a little bit, might be able to get easier to reach here. Yeah. No, this just made it worse. No, this just made it worse, matey. Let's move him around like so, matey. Yeah. There we go, all right, matey. Okay, I apologize to anybody Australian uh, for my terrible Australian accent. All right, okay. There's that. Why does that feel? Oh, you know what? I'm not on the right bolt. Hey, hey there it is. There's the right bolt. Oh, it's easy when you're on the right bolt. Yeah. Very, very easy. Oh, All right. So there's that. There's 129, right there. All right, there's another bolt in there that looks like our bolt, but it's not our bolt. So stay away from him. Okay. Oh, there's, uh, there's 129 foot pounds. That was easy. 
All right now. All right now. Now we've got some fun ahead of us. All right, we got a lot on the ground. Well, we got a lot on the ground. You put a lot on you. Thank you to the kind people. Wait a minute, what we got here? The kind people at Power Stop uh, replaced those stupid torques with 18s. It was quite nice of them. Because I'm close. All right, so. All right, we got to get this guy, we got to get him right out, out there like so. He's already greased up, all nice and greasy. And we can just take this guy out like this. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, so what I'm doing here is I just took the old um, brake shoe and I'm compressing the pistons to get them all the way in. So it'll be easier to do this. So there's that, and there's that. That goes there. And that goes there, and I don't, think, don't know whether that did anything or not. Uh, but, all right. So, now the fun part. I got me some, I got me some shoot ooze here. Some brake shoot ooze. And somewhere around here I got some lube. So I'm going to take a little bit of lube, uh, put it on this metal surface here, and a little bit of lube, put it on here, like this, and then around here, around there, around anything, any of this silvery stuff is going to get all lubed up. I got to stop talking like that. Huh? Yeah? Yeah? yeah. yeah? Why, well, you think all the fun people? Yeah. All right. Didn't I already take you take a cow from Huh? You're being politically mean. I'm politically incorrect? Yeah. Am I being politically incorrect? I don't know, but you're being politically wrong. Am I being politically wrong? What's wrong about it? No, you're being politically okay wrong. Uh, okay wrong? I don't know what you're yeah. saying. Oh, I'm repeating your words. All right. All right, so we got Mr. Brake Shoe here. And you know, we just take Mr. Brake Shoe like so. And he just goes whizzy bing bang like so. Pa -pa, the outside one is the easier of the two. And we get ourselves a little bit more of this greasy grease. And yeah, we'll put him on. There's a bit of greasy grease here. Greasy grease and greasy grease like so. All right, mm -hmm. like so. Yeah, like so. This one's, a little, this one's a wee bit harder. Oh, you know what? I missed, I missed up that area here. Yeah. You're supposed to put a little bit of greasy grease right here. All right, so I, I wholeheartedly apologize to the European um, audience. audience. I know I'm just a dumb American, but you know what? This, this is, you got to, when you make this many videos, you, you've got to entertain yourself. Because, I mean, it just gets, it's, it's boring. This out what we got right here, we got wrong. All right, there we go. Oh, look at that. He just went right on there like that. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's such, a, such a nice thing right there. All right, off we go. Uh-oh. What? Doesn't want to shut. Oh, no. What I do wrong? What happened? I think the whole... There we go. Look at that, like a thing of beauty right there. Now, notice I tweak this guy. You don't want to tweak him. Make, make sure he's good. All right, and uh, the golden thingy. I'll put some lube on here as well. Just a just a wee bit of lube, like so. Lube on the caliper pin thing. Make sure that this little guy here is lined is up. lined up good, and then he just goes in here like this, like so. Now the other one we didn't even take out. All right, now go look at the book again. I'm sorry, we've got to look at the book again. These are caliper mounting guide pin bolts. All others, 80 foot pounds. Hey, let's see what we got here. 
move this box. 80. That one is actually torqued to 80. All right, so guess what? Mr. Banjo Bolt. Mr. Banjo. Oh, I don't want to get any, any, any of me singing. All right, Mr. Banjo Bolt. Goes like voila. And then we need a voila on the other side. Like so. Um, stick it right in there. And stick it. This is the one you got to be super de duper careful on. Because this is, I believe, I've read online, this is where people uh, torque it too hard and screw up the caliper. So, brake hose to caliper inlet fitting bolt, 2002 and, oh, front, oh, there we go, 2002, front and rear, front and rear, 30, that's why I circled it. And there it is. All right, now we gotta rewire. Now we gotta figure this guy out. You need it. You need to go like that, like that. I think once I get him straightened out, get him straightened out, get him tightened, and then I'll be able to go like this. I actually kinda like to take this little guy right here, this little rubbery thing, and push him in my little thing here to protect the line as much as possible. All right, so let's see what we got here. If I can just take this. All right, this part we already have, so we'll just fast forward to it on the other film. Okay. Okay. Pop, hit. 